Hey, Steve, that investigation process started immediately following that accident on Saturday. We watched as Raleigh Police Forensic Unit went through every piece of that 2011 GMC Denali HD. From top to bottom, inside and out, Raleigh Police Department's forensic team combed through every inch of this white truck. The 2011 GMC Denali HD and the driver, 20-year-old Landon Christopher Glass, are at the center of this investigation, where an 11-year-old dancer was struck and killed during the Raleigh Christmas Parade. We all watched in horror as the driver lost control of the truck. If it really wasn't stopping, it's probably the hydraulic system. If there's uh, not much break and it doesn't, uh, it's not 100%, you're still going to be able to stop it at, at the small at a small velocity. Dr. Martin Balaban is a forensic expert who has spent decades as a witness in trials involving accident investigations, reconstruction and safety liability. I wanted to know if the weight of the float or the truck's modifications could be contributing factors to this accident. It could in certain scenarios, but not in this one. Tonight, we also spoke with a former parade driver. Rob Stern lives in Raleigh now, but has volunteered in parades in Virginia. I was struck by the fact that it initially looked like a horrible accident, and and I, and I couldn't couldn't imagine how it could have happened. And then after hearing later that there were contributing factors from the vehicle and the driver and all these situations that perhaps were avoidable, it was just horrifying. Rob points out that protocol is different with every parade. The company that provided the float for CC and Dance Company told Eyewitness News neither his floats nor vehicles were inspected by parade organizers, and that's not an uncommon practice. Rob outlined some of his safety process from previous parades. They did these safety protocols and reminded us of how we would be doing the slowest driving we'd ever done and how much spacing we had to leave and how we had to be so careful because it was a really different experience. Rob fears Saturday's accident will change how parades look in the future. Those parades could be longer with larger gaps and separation when it comes to vehicles and walking participants. In Raleigh, I'm Jimmy's Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.